Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to add um, a Google Calendar to your site. Uh, first, I'll show you how to create a calendar, a course calendar in Google Calendar, and then show you how to go ahead and embed it into your Moodle site. Uh, depending on when you're accessing this video and what version of Moodle you're using, your site may look a little different from what you see in this video. This video was filmed in August 2013. Uh, but the basic functions and principles should still hold. So watch carefully, feel free to pause the video when you need to, and you should be able to use these steps to embed a Google Calendar in your Moodle site. Uh, one of the reasons you might want to do this um, is because this native calendar function that you see show up in, in most Moodle sites uh, can be really clunky and kind of hard to manage. And a lot of people like to just uh, manage their course calendars right alongside their own Google calendars. And so what we'll end up creating right now uh, is something that looks like this, just this uh, calendar embedded on the side. Um, you can embed it in other places too. You have a lot of options with Google calendars. It basically just gives you um, some HTML code that you can put sort of anywhere on your site. But one of the things I like is this agenda view for a calendar and to have that just sort of displayed in a list of all the important due dates um, just on the side of your Moodle site here. So we'll show you how to do that, but you can get creative. So in order to create a calendar within Google Calendar for your course, um, first head over to Google Calendar. I've got that open up here. And go ahead under My Calendars on the left. You'll click this little down drop down arrow and say uh, Create New Calendar. You can give your calendar a name. You want to give it a description, something like, you know, calendar for students of, etc. You can add a location. And then make sure that you check this box to share this calendar with others. Um, and definitely share the calendar with everyone at the University of Minnesota, if this is a site for um, folks at the Min University of Minnesota. Or um, to be even safer, go ahead and make this calendar public. Um, that does make it um, technically findable and searchable um, in public, although practically speaking, um, I don't think there's any particular concern there. Um, but definitely go ahead and check that. Um, and if you're worried about folks outside of the University of Minnesota being able to see it, go ahead and make the calendar public. Also, you can share uh, with TAs or other people on your team who want to manage this calendar. Share it with specific people here. So enter their email address, um, their University of Minnesota email address here. And then go ahead and give them the permission setting to make changes and manage sharing. That will let them display the calendar and manage the calendar and add events to the calendar when they're in their own Google Calendar. All right, so I've already made a calendar. I'm going to cancel out of this. I've already made a calendar actually for this site and you'll see it here if I display it. Um, you'll see I've added a quiz here and some tests and exams later on, just a few things. Once you've added the calendar and created it, it will show up on the left side here with its name and you can toggle it on and off and then the activities will disappear. So that's really great for managing clutter. If you have several courses you're managing or several different calendars, you can just toggle it on and off here. Um, you don't have to see it all the time. If you're going to add an event, for example, let's say we want to add a um, Google Hangout office hours for this course, go ahead and add an event just like you would any other event on Google Calendar, and then just make sure that you have the uh, right calendar selected, that you're adding it to the course calendar, not your own personal calendar or other calendars, and then hit Create an Event, and it will create that event. I'm going to cancel that for now. But know that you can always add an event just like you would any other event on Google Calendar. That will show up. Now, to embed your calendar in Google Site once it's created, all you have to do is head back to your calendar and click the drop-down arrow next to the calendar you've made and click Calendar Settings. And this will let you go and kind of tweak how your calendar looks and feels, and then it will give you some HTML code that you'll copy, and then you'll paste it into your Google site, or sorry, your Moodle site. Um, so we're going to do that actually under this section that says Embed This Calendar, and click Customize the Color, Size, Other Options. Um, so I've done that here, and I've kind of showed you some customization settings to get the effect of that agenda that we see on this side when we embed it in Moodle. Um, so this is sort of what I'd recommend if you want to create an agenda like that. So you can um, get rid of the title. You can give it a title natively in Moodle if you want. Um, get rid of kind of all the, the clutter here. You might want to keep the date, keep a print icon if someone wants to print it. You can keep the time zone. Um, uh, change the default view to agenda if you want this sort of list like that. Otherwise, you can go ahead and embed a month calendar, a week calendar. You can put that somewhere else on the Moodle site where it can hold it. Um, 
go ahead and keep the width like this. I'd recommend a height of about 500 pixels, depending on how many items you have you want to show up there. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and tweak this width later um, to set it at 100% when we're in Moodle, so it will display properly wherever we put it in Moodle. So you can leave that for now. Once you've got it looking like you want, and again, get creative here, this is the code you're going to copy. And this is what we'll put into Moodle. So copy this. And then let's head back into Moodle. And I'll show you how I stuck this up here. So this right here is actually just an HTML block. So click Add HTML. And you'll see the block pop up somewhere, New HTML Block. You can drag that around to wherever you want it to be. Let's just add this calendar right above the one I've already got there. Oops, or right below. This drag and drop is pretty awesome in Moodle. And then hit this settings icon, and so you can go and change the HTML settings. Here's where you could add your calendar title. Um, so you don't really have to worry about it in within Google Calendar. Um, and then we're going to hit this edit HTML source. So don't copy directly into this content box here. Go ahead and click this HTML button, and that's where we're going to paste in our iframe code that we grabbed from within Google Calendar. And so this should pretty much have a set. The only last thing to tweak is this sort of width and height, par height parameters here. So 500 pixels, we said we want it to, wanted it to be. That'll be just fine. But you're going to want to change the width to be 100% so that it will show up um, and fill the full HTML block that we're creating, but not be any bigger than that. All right, so you should see it display here. And then just go ahead and hit Save Changes. And once that's done, you should see a nice little agenda block pop up on the side, just like the one we made before, um, listing all of your course course events. And then anytime you add an event um, to this calendar within your Google Calendar, it will automatically sync and display in your Moodle site, just like this. Um, the other places that you could put a Google Calendar, just to take note, is maybe up at the top of your site you want to put um, a weekly calendar or something like that. If you want to put it elsewhere in your site, especially if you want to put it in these main topic panels, you're going to actually have to add an activity or a resource, and then you're going to add your calendar as a label, it's called. So not an HTML block, those are just for the side calendars. If you want to add it within the main area, click on Label and hit Add. Then you're going to actually just do the same process. You're going to click on HTML, edit the source, paste in your iframe code there, um, change the width, height, things like that. Um, and then go ahead and post it, and it will show up in the main panels in your Moodle site. So you've got options about where you want to display it. Um, just know the process is very similar. All right, I hope that helps. Enjoy uh, syncing Google Calendars with your Moodle site. Um, hopefully that should make calendar management a little easier. Oh, one last thing. If you want to actually get rid of the native Moodle Calendar block then, once you've got your Google Calendar set up, you can go ahead and just click this X here and delete the uh, Moodle native calendar and just go ahead and substitute your Google Calendar within this course site. All right, happy Moodling.